Hi, Casper here from Bosewine on the 13th of June 2016 and tasting, drinking rather, a bottle of 1998 Dom Perignon uh, given to us many years ago by an extremely kind client on the birth of our firstborn, Joseph, who is now 10. So we've had it for 10 years. Good Lord, that seems extraordinary. Um, not a big pop when the court came out and of course the cork was, was straight sided after that length of time um, but came out fizzy enough and is a pretty colour I mean it's no undue depth of colour but just healthy maturity pale gold I opened this 20 minutes ago and just to let it breathe a bit um, mature champagne has been in bottle a while generally like like a bit of air like most other wines um, Lovely nose, warm, nutty, nice density of mature. Little sort of hot buttered toast. Hazelnut aroma. Rich sort of plush kind of a nose, really. Really delicious, lovely thing to, to smell. Mousse is a sort of burst of fine, fine texture, sort of pillowy, becoming firmer. A little sort of chalkiness about it, and spice, lot, lots of spice here. It's a, a nutty kind of a spice. It's smoky, quite assertive champagne, becoming more upright as you go through. Not not hugely uh, uh, crisp. It's sort of broadened out and mellowed, um, and yet it's got got some structure and and um, some sort of spicy minerality at the end, um, and great length. Um, you know, uh, just a um, Extraordinary sort of velvety texture to it. It's a touch, touch saline maybe. A smoky toasted character really to the fore. Fabulous would be fabulous with food actually. Um, finishes dry and that slightly earthy minerality. Nice wine. There we are. 1998 Dom Perignon. I'm sure it will um, evolve with with time, open time, and uh, you know breathing. Um, but uh, I'm going to enjoy every sip. I must say.